Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for February 5th. February 5th is the 36th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, with 329 days remaining to the end of the year, except for leap years, in which case there are 330 days remaining to the end of the year. And today's word is lariat. Lariat is a noun, which refers to a long white rope with a running noose used to catch cattle, horses, etc., also known as a lasso. <laughs> Lariat comes to us from Spanish, la riata, which means the rope, from riatar, which means to tie again, from ri again, and atar, tie, and ultimately from Latin, apteri, which means to join or fit, from aptus, which means apt or fit. Interesting language we have here, don't you agree? And with that, we're going to start in the year 62 AD. That was a long time ago. When a severe earthquake did considerable damage to the city of Pompeii, Italy. It's believed that this earthquake would have registered between five and six on the Richter scale. That's pretty severe. Now this wasn't quite the big one that completely buried them in ash, but it was pretty bad all the same. You know, they lived right at the base of Mount Vesuvius, so they were always getting little quakes and tremors. They weren't too worried about most of them, but the one on this day was pretty bad. On February 5th, 1631, a man named Roger Williams arrived in America. He ultimately became the founder of Rhode Island. On February 5th, 1777, Georgia, the state of Georgia, formally adopted a new state constitution and became the first U.S. state to abolish the inheritance practices of primogeniture and entail. Do what? <laughs> what in the world are primogeniture and entail? Well, primogeniture ensured that the eldest son in a family inherited the largest portion of his father's property upon the father's death. The practice of entail was frequently practiced in conjunction with primogeniture, guaranteeing that a landed estate, that means an estate that includes land, would remain in the hands of only one male heir, which was great if you happened to be that eldest son or that one male heir, but too bad so sad for everyone else in the family. They had big families back then, too. Georgians restructured their inheritance law by abolishing entail in all forms and proclaiming that any person who died without a will would have his or her estate divided equally among their children. The widow could have a child's share or her dower at her option. On February 5th of 1826, future 13th President of the United States, Millard Fillmore, married Abigail Powers. On February 5th, 1917, a fairly restrictive Immigration Act was passed over President Wilson's veto. It had come across his desk and he vetoed it, and Congress took it up again and overrode his veto. You see, they have the ability to do that if they're that dedicated to the act. This is the birthday of baseball great Henry Lewis Aaron Jr., better known as Hank Aaron. Born February 5th, 1934, and nicknamed Hammer and Hank, he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982. On the first ballot, 97.8% of the vote. That's pretty impressive. Hank Aaron lived to the age of 86. In 1958, a hydrogen bomb known as Tybee Bomb, Tybee Bomb, was lost by the U.S. Air Fort off the coast of Savannah, Georgia, never to be recovered. Yikes. And I think that's going to do it for us today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Mind your manners. What is wrong with my mouth today? <laughs> so many mistakes. Oh, come on now. <clears throat> Where were we? <laughs> All right, do that again. 
Here's a good girl. Good girl. Somebody between the houses out there. He's right behind a tree where I can't see him. I don't know how all that's gonna go together. If it's even gonna make it to the video, we'll just see. That's not gonna go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. 